Hi again, this is Trey, and this is the final video for Basics of Audacity. So for this video, we'll just focus on adjusting the volume on clips. An important distinction that I want to make is between your controls on the left-hand side of the screen for each track over here, and the actual track itself, as you see in the waveform uh, here. So you can notice that there's a volume control gain. This is for your playback. So for example, you can play using these controls up here what you have. You have to preview it. Now unfortunately this doesn't translate once you export to different file formats. Um, so you actually need to adjust the volume in the waveform if you want that to be something that remains in the audio clip. The same thing goes for the mute function. The mute function simply helps me focus on one track. I can also solo, which if you have many tracks, mutes everything except for the track that you've selected. But both of those do not translate to the exported file. So if I wanted to adjust the volume, let's say for example here, it just kind of looks a little bit louder than my top track. Let's say that I want to adjust the volume of this much of the track. The way that I typically do it, and it may not be the best way, but the way that I typically do it is I go into the effects, and towards the bottom you have an adjustable fade. So this is more than just a fade in or fade out. And so here, what's happening is that we can actually specify a fade up or fade down um, that doesn't just go from 0 to 100. We can specify by percentage. You know, we can do it by decibel too, but I tend to prefer percentages easier for me to think about. And we can specify what percentage it should start at and what percentage it should end at. So let's say that I actually wanted to just reduce the volume by 30% on this entire clip. I would just say to start at 30%, or at 70 that is, I'm going to reduce it by 30. Start at 70% and end at 70%. And I'll just say OK. And now notice what happened is that it got softer here. Now what you might want to do if you're doing some volume reduction on part of a clip as opposed to all of it, is to actually have a three-part structure. Uh, one part where you fade down from 100% to, let's say, 70%. The middle part, where you keep it at 70%. And then um, the final part, where you go from 70% back to 100%. Let's say if there's a 30-second period in your clip, for some reason, uh, the person's not speaking as loud as in the rest of the clip, and you want to try to equalize the volume. So that's one of those strategies that you can use. Uh, so again, just adjusting volume, uh, you want to think about maintaining it relatively the same across all of your tracks, but I want to emphasize again that this is um, kind of key at the production stage, and making sure that when you record that people are speaking roughly at the same volume, that you're recording under as controlled of a situation as possible. Uh, in some cases that requires improvisation, and that's fine. There will be some variability in sound quality. But just doing as much as you can during that recording part to make sure that you don't have to do a bunch of magic here at the post-production stage.